Hello, this is a message from my Tamil constituents and friends, and indeed the Tamil community right across the UK. As you mark 12 long years since the end of the Sri Lankan Civil War and the massacre at Mulavakal. My name is Siobhan McDonagh, I'm the Labour Member of Parliament for Mitcham and Morden, and I stand proudly alongside my Tamil constituents on their road to truth, justice and accountability. 12 years that has presented so much challenge, so little progress and so much pain. We all remember the horror of Mullah Bakal massacre, the most recent peak of genocidal killings against the Tamils committed by the Sri Lankan state. The images of those final days of the civil war are scarred on my memory. No one who saw could possibly forget. The mass violations of human rights left a stain of injustice on Sri Lanka. The world looked away, but today we will not. But despite the passage of time, human rights are again under attack on Sri Lanka, in Sri Lanka. Intimidation that is perhaps best symbolised in January's demolition of the Mulavikal Memorial itself at Jaffna University. That same month, the High Commissioner for Human Rights damning report warned that Sri Lanka is on an, on a, and I quote, alarming path towards the recurrence of grave human rights violations. Calling on the Human Rights Council to take strong action to promote accountability and reconciliation. In March, I had the honour of holding a debate in the House of Commons to coincide with the UN Human Rights Council meeting where a new resolution on Sri Lanka was adopted with the UK as penholder. The debate was timely with the opportunity to press the UK government um, with the imper imperativeness of finally securing progress. Since that de debate, I have been asked by the Deputy High Commissioner of Sri Lanka if I will meet with them and I have said that I will. It is a chance for me to make absolutely clear that we cannot and will not return, return a blind eye. I'd like to finish this message by thanking all of my Tamil constituents, friends and neighbours. And I say loud and clear that however long the road to reconciliation may still be, we will keep fighting for justice and human rights until they are achieved in Sri Lanka.